Hi guys, welcome back. We want to kind of look at all our data and make sure that we really understand what we did. So let's go to a range. I've already clicked on all those blue boxes. I'm going to bring them all to the front so we can see them. When we removed 50% of our paper, our actual height got smaller. And when we removed 33%, we removed a little bit less paper, our height got even a little bit smaller. We removed 25% and our height got smaller. So as we removed paper, the less paper we removed, the smaller the, the height. Um, then if we come down here and we look at everything else, the circumference, as we removed less paper, got bigger, which kind of makes sense. We had more of the circle left, so the circumference was bigger. The radius got bigger, the radius got bigger. The diameter got bigger, diameter got bigger because that circle along the bottom, which meant that if that circle at the base was bigger, it had a bigger opening, right? The lateral area, we had more paper left over. We took out less, so our lateral area got bigger, our surface area got bigger, and then the volume of our cylinder, which would be base times height, so I was not super clear about this in the last set of videos. Base times height is for a cylinder, right? For a cone, we need to one third of that. One third the base times the height. So we've got to divide those cylinder um, volumes in thirds. So the volume of our smallest red cone was 9.6. The volume of our medium cone was 14.4. And then the volume of our last cone didn't change a whole lot, 14.4 to 16.3. We were able to put a little bit more rice in there, but not very much. Okay, let's go see if we can do